Do you know what you're looking at? This right here. I, I can't believe about the. Uh, hold on. I, I just need to wrap my head around this. This right here, folks, is a human and a pig combined for the first time ever in a lab. They are creating the Nephilim, but right now they're just, they've got the chimeras. As we've seen on the murals and things from old times, they're recreating this. Let's go back to the actual article. Human pig hybrid created in the lab. Here are the facts. Scientists hope the chimera embryos represent key steps toward life-saving lab-grown organs. This pig embryo was injected with human cells early in its development and grew to be four weeks old. In a remarkable, if likely controversial, feat, scientists announced today that they have created the first successful human-animal hybrids. The project proves that human cells can be introduced into a non-human organism, survive and even grow inside a host animal, in this case, pigs. This biomedical advance has long been a dream and a quandary for scientists hoping to address a critical shortage of donor organs. Every 10 minutes, a person is added to the national waiting list for organ transplants, and every day, 22 people on that list die without the organ they need. What if, rather than relying on a generous donor, you could grow a custom organ inside an animal instead? Oh my God, this is so gross. Not only that, but we also have now the mixing of DNA. This is absolutely massive. This is the first step they're going to take, as we have predicted months ago, I think it was last February, that they were working on doing this. They were going to open this door, and they've just done it. They have just done it. If this doesn't shock you to the very core that scientists are creating chimeras, which is a mix between animals and humans, then I don't know what will. Scientists are creating creatures. Maybe that, that's a better line. This is the first time on January 26th by the National Geographic we're hearing about it. Scientists have created a four-week-old embryo, a pig embryo with human cells. There is absolutely no telling what is going to come out of this. But once this door is open, there is no going back. Seek Jesus Christ today. Read the Bible on what's coming. And have faith over fear. That's now one step closer to reality, and an international team of researchers led by the Salk Institute reports in the journal Cell. The team created what's known scientifically as a chimera, an organism that contains cells from two different species. In the past, human-animal chimeras have been beyond reach. Such experiments are currently ineligible for public funding in the U.S. So far, the Salk team has relied on private donors. Private donors. Who's funding it, I wonder? Who's funding it? Because that's where all of the science gets corrupted. As we see with the EPA, as we see with the vaccine industry, as we see with Big Pharma, it is the private donors who are corrupting science for a cause. And now, of course, here you go, the chimeras. This, the, you can't come back from this. We mix the genes, we mix the DNA, there is no more humanity. There is no coming back from it. I don't, I don't know how people don't get that. Oh, yeah, we can just, uh, you can do a designer baby and, you know, you could pick your hair color and all this other crap. Great, you've artificially created a human. You can't come back from it. You remove the hand of God from, man, you remove the hand of God from creation. Oh, my, I don't, I don't want to see what you're going to create. But for lead study author Jun Wu of the Salk Institute, we need only look to mythical chimeras. Oh, really? Like the human-bird hybrids we know as angels for a different perspective. Exactly who are you talking about? 
This is interesting. In ancient civilizations, chimeras were associated with God. Not, not, not always. No, no, no. That, that, that's very incorrect. He says, and our ancestors thought the chimeric form can guard humans. In a sense, that's what the team hopes human-animal hybrids will one day do. They just admitted that they are going to create the Nephilim. And they just took the first step today. Scientists just admitted they're going to recreate the Nephilim in his own damn words. Right there. Excuse my language. Right there for you. We got to wake up. We have got to wake up. These are the end times. Get this message out, please. Get it far and wide. People have got to know that they are absolutely creating the Nephilim. They are admitting it in their own words. There's a little unwritten rule. They have to tell you what they're doing before they do it. They just told us what they're doing and they've just done it. We've exposed it on the website, christiantruther.com. If you haven't seen it, go to the website right now. Go into the end time section and you will find it. Go to topics. Go to topics right here. Go to end times. Science from hell. You can CERN files, beast technology, transhumanism. If you just click this one, science from hell here, you can do this on your phone. You can do it on the website. On, on a, excuse, not on the website. You can do it on, the, on your computer. And of course, you can get it all right here. Right here. The Nephilim return. All of this. Brave new world. Scientists bring about baby farming and the recreation of the Nephilim. I posted on that on the 15th. And as you can see, they've just created the chimeras. And they're only four weeks old. That means they did it at the beginning of the year. Very interesting times we live in indeed. That's all the information I've got for you. Get this message out. God bless and carry on.